What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is Lucas or Dirge15 and I'm glad that you clicked on this video for whatever reason. However I got you to click on it, I'm really glad that you clicked on it. But anyway, today I'm going to be getting into a little green screen tutorial in Minecraft and so I'm just going to hop right into the world. This is my green screen world which I made to uh, demonstrate it to you guys. So basically, this is a green screen room. I, I made my own texture pack for it. If you want it, it'll be linked in the description. Uh, it it's probably going to be on like Mediafire or something like that. But anyways, this is the texture pack. So I changed glowstone which, like, right there, glowstone, I changed glowstone to, like, pure green, and then I changed, uh, jack-o'-lanterns to pure blue, you know, in case you want to make a blue screen, you know, it looks like, uh, well, I can't put it on glowstone, but, you know, it looks like that, um, but anyway, so if you want to make a, a green screen or a blue screen room, you, you can, so basically what, what happens is you get your object, you know, whatever you want to record, right here, you really have to do it on a server, by the way, unless you want to record animals, which is, um, how I'm actually going to demonstrate it, but, uh, if you want to record like a person, you really need to get on a server and get two people, like get one of your friends or whatever to uh, film you. Now let me find the animal blocks. I should have gotten this ready earlier, but I didn't. I'm sorry about that. But, see, they shouldn't be too hard to find. Yeah, I'll just search like uh, sheep. Should cop Yeah, there we go. Spawn sheep. Alright. So now I have a sheep block, right? Um, if I can get out of my inventory, I have a sheep block. There we go. Anyway. So I have a sheet block right here in this green screen room. So I'm going to hit F1 so that, you know, everything goes away. And uh, so now when I shoot this, or, um, okay, I, I put it on the, oh yeah, I put it on the ground. All right, all right, so I'm going to put it on the ground. And I'm going to hit F1. And I'm going to walk around, you know, film the sheep, run into it, whatever. All right, so there's a sheep. Uh, pretend that's a person or whatever. So that's going to be the demonstration um, for right now that, that I'm going to show you guys how to actually do it in Sony Vegas with. But just just real fast, I'm going to show you that um, I'm actually working on a really big green screen. i got to clear all this stuff out in the middle, but I'm working on a really big green screen room just just to have. It's always going to be nice. It's, it's on my server, so yeah. Another thing that I actually added into the texture pack, which you guys may or may not use or like, but I mean it's not going to harm you if you're using this. You're probably using it only for recording and... You're not going to be really using, um, okay, I put this, stu I put this stuff in my inventory already. All right, good. Well, so you're not going to be using it for, like, actual survival. So, basically, I made blue screen and green screen suits. The diamond armor is your standard blue screen suit. Um, so basically, you get, you know, it's exactly like diamond armor, but it's completely blue. So you have no, um, but, you, but your arms aren't covered, so your arms are still showing, right? So I was like, hmm, maybe that could be a problem. So I was going to, originally I was going to change the diamond so that it was long sleeve. But I decided that, you know, maybe you just want your hands. Maybe you do want your hands. So I made another, I, I changed the cloth armor to a blue screen suit also. But I made it long sleeve and it goes, it covers you completely. If for whatever reason you want to like not be there for part of it. And uh, also you can like take different parts off if you just want your head showing or like you just want your feet showing, my, my feet are black, but so you can't really see it, but like, or you just want your legs showing, or just your body or something like that, um, so that's why, that's why I did that with the, the long sleeve, uh, here, let me, let me put these things back in my inventory, I also made a green screen suit, so I'm fairly positive, yeah, the iron is the standard green screen suit, so it's exactly like the diamond one, exactly like the, the blue screen suit, but it's, you know, just green with the short sleeves and everything, and then the gold is gonna be your long sleeve, green screen um suit and you know it really doesn't matter you can use like the only the only difference really is in the chest plate but i just went ahead and did the whole armor so if you want yourself um green screen or blue screen you can do it like that and then in game you know it looks like that so if you try to chroma key it out you, you won't be there um so yeah that's that's uh, another addition that i made to this texture pack but anyways guys i'm gonna hop over to sony vegas and show you how to edit the uh, green screen out in sony vegas and i'll be with you in a second Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am back here in Sony Vegas. I already uh, cut up the clip and got just the green screen, and I removed the audio so it's not annoying. Um, basically, I'm just going to go ahead and I hit U to split the audio in the video, and even though there's no audio, I'm just going to delete the audio just to get it out of the way so that we don't have to worry about it. So basically, we're in here in Sony Vegas. We've got this green screen background and a sheep, and we want to put some random picture behind the green screen, behind the sheep, sorry. So basically, what you're going to come over, what you're going to do is you're going to come over here, and you're going to get the chroma keyer tool. If you don't have this little toolbar, as I didn't when I opened my Sony Vegas, you're going to go to view and go video FX. If that's not checked, then that won't show up. And if it is checked, like mine was actually checked, 
but it, it still looked like this. So I just had to uncheck it and recheck it, and then it popped right back up, and it was all good. So you're going to come down on the side, and you're going to find Chroma Key here, and you're going to click on it. And we're going to use the pure green screen option. We would use the, um, like, you would use the pure green screen and pure blue screen options when the entire screen, except for your object, is a green screen or a blue screen. And I guess there's a red screen option now. Um, but if only part of it is, like, in, uh, Minecraft, if you have, like, a TV screen or a computer screen that you're trying to emulate being there, then you're gonna want to use the blue screen or the green screen tool because you can just do part of it. But for the whole thing, we're gonna go ahead and do the pure green screen. We're gonna drag it down and put it on our thing. So basically, it tried to automatically find the right color, right? But, so, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the dropper, and obviously that's not there. But, anyway, I know that, oh, what the frick? No, it's not what I meant. Uh, but, uh, alright, so, we're gonna go actually into the color now, we're gonna grab the dropper. And we're going to try to grab the lowest, like the, the, not the lowest, but like in the middle, so like, this is really bright. That's almost the same color as that. That's kind of dark, and this is kind of in between, like these two walls. So we're going to color drop the wall. And it's going to find the best green, which it, it turned out was right there. Now, I know that I made this um, all the way green when I did the texture pack. So I'm going to put it all the way up there. But if you don't, if you're using a real green screen, or you just don't, if you forget uh, for some reason that it's pure green then you can just drag that up and it will be just fine so what we're gonna do now to make sure uh, everything's good is we're gonna click show mask only and that's gonna show a black and white image and basically you wanna get your subject that you want to be showed on top of the green screen in pure white and then everything else in pure black so as you can see the bottom's black but these sides are gray and that's a darker gray and our sheep is pretty white but not as white as we would like it to be so your low threshold is gonna control your blacks so as you move it darker, um, your blacks, like, more things will become black. Basically, I think how it works is that it starts, like, right here, only the blackest blacks will be black. And then it moves up, like, when you're here, it'll take some grays and make them black and things like that, you know? So, like, as you see, when I drag it up, things get blacker and blacker and blacker. And I want it about right here, because if you go too far, it starts to hurt the subject. You want it to not affect the subject, but the surroundings to be completely black. And the high threshold controls your white. So it's like that, but we're going to leave it all the way up because that's that's where it needs to be. And the blur amount changes the uh, the edges between the sheep or your subject and the rest of the green screen. So like if you want to blur that area, it'll blur it pretty damn far. But you can also blur it just a little bit like if you want it like that. But we're going to leave it all the way down because that's what fits our needs best. So right now, this entire clip, I'm going to hit play. You're going to see it. I'm walking around and basically there's just a sheep. And then it's uh, it's black everywhere else. I'm going to right click and go back into the video effects. And then I'm going to, actually I'm going to lower the low threshold a little bit because I noticed part of the sheep is becoming black. Um, but apparently, alright, here. Let me get back on the video and stop playing it. And I noticed that part of the sheep is going black. So I'm going to get it just right. right. So I think that's as close as I'm going to get. And I'm going to unclick show mask only so it's going to actually show the... Uh, the subject again. So now if we play it, you're going to see it's all black except for the sheep. And that's that's exactly what we want. So now I'm going to go over here on my second screen and find a picture. Let's see. Let's put uh let's put an explosion in the background. Explosion. All right, just search that up on Google. Here's one. I'm going to open it up. Full size. Saving it. Save. All right. So it's it's now in my downloads folder. So I'm going to drag this explosion file, uh, picture I just got into Vegas. And now, there you go. It'll show the explosion behind the sheep. Um, if you want to, you know, make it look a lot better, you see I'm walking around and there's the sheep and there's the explosion. Now, it's not perfect because I didn't get the sheep perfectly, but if you want to spend uh, more time getting your thresholds right and everything and your uh, green screen color, then by all means, Spend more time on it. I'm just trying to demonstrate how to do it real fast. But if you also, if you want the picture to be high definition and fill up the whole screen, make sure you get a pixel, uh, a picture with the right pixel density and stuff so that it matches. But yeah, guys, that's how you do a green screen in Minecraft. You can download my texture pack down below in the description. I'm actually working on a really big project that's going to be using this technology, I guess you could say. So uh, subscribe if you want to be on the lookout for that. Uh, if this video helped you, like the video. If you want to watch it again or show your friends or just you liked it that much, favorite it. Um, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching, and I love you all.